Today we'll demonstrate the simple PI controller found in Unity Pro to control a process loop. The Unity help files explain this function block very well. In this example today we will control a simulated loop and show the effects of proportional and proportional gain and integral time on the output. I have pre-programmed a lag filter to simulate in the simulation section of my program. I also have a control section. So let's program the PI basic block. It's found in the continuous control library of Unity Pro. And it is a controller. So we'll select the block and we'll put it in there. The process variable in this example is going to be a temperature. This temperature is in real is a real value. The set point we'll just call temperature set point. And next we'll create an automatic mode variable. When the function block is in automatic mode, the control algorithm is running. In manual mode, the output is controlled manually. So let me demonstrate this. This is the controller that we're going to program. You'll notice that the loop, loop is in, this is the process variable, the loop is in a stable condition and it's in automatic mode. As I change the set point, the PI loop has control. So we'll see it ramp up and ramp down. When I take the control out of auto mode, I have complete control of the valve. So this is manual mode. So let's go back to our program. We'll add an output to the loop and we'll just call this valve. And finally, the loop parameters themselves. So we'll call this temp underscore parameters. And we'll go ahead and declare the variable. So in our variables, We'll set some of the temp uh, parameters. Our process variable low value is going to be 0. We'll scale it to 100 just to make life easy. Our output, the valve, will be from 0 to 100 as well. We'll set our proportional gain up to 1 and we'll set our integral time to be one minute. That is a 1m for minute. And I'll go ahead and set a little bit of a dead band of 0 0.25 degrees. So let me totally oversimplify PI control. Proportional gain controls how fast we get close to the set point. Integral gain or time helps us close in to the set point once we're close. Complete oversimplification. So I have started an operator screen so that we can demonstrate uh, this and see what happens. So first we'll put the auto manual automatic mode and I'll give a text of auto with latching so we'll toggle it good I'll put my set point variable here so temperature set point uh, 0 to 100 was our set point value Let's see if it took that and good uh, the proportional gain we'll set that as our temp parameters 
Again, we'll just do 0 to 10 for proportional gain. And our integral time. is the integral time within 10 parameters and we'll apply and OK that. The process variable, this will be our temperature. OK, whoops, and we will set the value from 0 to 100. And our valve output. And we'll set the value from 0 to 100. OK, and I want to verify that I set the set point 0 to 100. And then I'll set up the graphs. So I've just drawn a very simple square here. I'll select the square, and I'll give it animation. And I will select the temperature first. It's going to be real. I am going to set a trend diagram. I'm going to set the maximum to be 100, and we'll select the value of the actual temperature to be the red line. OK. Apply. OK. So I've got the temperature selected, so I'm going to hit Control-C to copy, Control-V to paste. I will double click. My animation here will be the temperature set point underscore SP. We will also set it to be a trend diagram and we'll put the set point at blue. And we'll say OK. So remember blue for set point, red for temp. We will do a control C, control V, and we'll add the valve. We'll go to our trend and we'll set the valve to be green. And it's 0 to 100. We'll say OK, OK, and then we will line these up perfectly so that, whoops, all three can be seen at one time. I will build my project. We will connect to the simulator. I will turn off my other project. I will connect to the simulator. The project is different, so I will say PLC, transfer project to PLC. And I will enable the right. So currently we have no set point, we have a proportional gain at, gain at 1, we have an integral time of 1 minute. So I'm going to set a set point in here. Well, I'm going to put it in auto first. I'm going to set a set point of 50 degrees. And we see our green set point go up. Oh, excuse me, the set point is blue. The valve is the green. So it went up to 50 and it starts slowing down. And you'll see that the process variable is slowly working its way up to 50 on the set point and we can see a nice even ramp as we we're getting close this one on the proportional gain again is telling us how fast we're going to get close so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the proportional gain to 10 I will take it out of the loop I will set the set point I'll set the output back to 0 
and we'll see the process variable down. We'll change the set point to 90 degrees and I'll put us back in auto. And you'll see how the output with the proportional game screamed right up there and is now coming down. And we'll see the proportional game coming up. So now let's change the integral time down to 10 seconds. We'll take it out of auto. Put it back in auto. We'll change the set point down to 5. And notice the output went down to 0. We'll change the set point back to 75. And you'll see that output go to nearly 100. I definitely op oversimplified PI control, but if you need to control a loop, I hope this gives you a good starting point.